Welcome to Watch Cards Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is September Patch Tuesday. Well, there's a lot of interesting security news today. The most practical thing we can talk about as far as security is concerned is Patch Tuesday. This is where, of course, Microsoft and other vendors share their monthly security updates. Well, this month, Microsoft, Adobe, and Apple all release security updates today. Let's cover them one by one. First with Microsoft. Microsoft released 14 security bulletins fixing a number of vulnerabilities in a lot of their products. Seven of the bulletins were rated as critical. The affected products include Windows, both of their web browsers, Office, the Exchange server, and also the Flash components of Windows as well. Now these updates fix a range of flaws. For instance, in the browsers, there's a number of remote code execution vulnerabilities, including some that attackers have been exploiting in zero-day attacks. There's also a Windows update that fixes a USB lock screen flaw that seems very similar to one I've been talking about in previous Previous videos. Finally, the Exchange Server update fixes some important remote code execution vulnerabilities having to do with the way your mail server parses documents using Oracle's technology. Long story short, a bad guy can send a specially crafted email with a malicious attachment that takes advantage of this flaw to execute code on your Exchange Server. If you're an Exchange administrator, I'd probably jump on this one first, but the browser vulnerabilities, the Office vulnerabilities, and the Windows vulnerabilities all are important. In fact, many of them fix vulnerabilities abilities that attackers could leverage in drive-by download attacks or by sending you documents and spear phishing emails. Next up is Adobe Patch Day. Adobe released updates for Adobe Flash, Adobe Air SDK, and something called Adobe Digital Editions, which is their ebook reader. The big news here is the Flash update. The Flash update fixes 27 vulnerabilities in the popular uh, web plugin, and most people have Flash. So long story short, if you use Adobe Flash, go get that update right away. Way. Finally, Apple security updates included a new version of iOS, iOS 10, a watchOS update, and an Xcode update. The big news here, of course, is iOS 10, which not only is a security update, but is also a big uh, feature release as well. If you're an iPad or iPhone user, I would go get it. Also, as an aside, Apple's finally enabled HTTPS update mechanisms for iOS. In the past, they used the insecure HTTP. One final note, you might want to wait a day for the iOS update. At least at least if you're going to update over Wi-Fi. Early users said there was some sort of bug that seemed to brick their iPad or iPhone. Now Apple claims they've fixed it, but you might want to wait it out a day or so. So the simple summary here is if you use any of those Microsoft, Adobe, or Apple products, you want to get these updates as soon as you can. The simple act of updating your software quickly can often prevent many of the exploits that circulate on the internet. By the way, another big story I considered covering today was some MySQL zero-day vulnerabilities that a researcher disclosed yesterday. Now, I felt that these Microsoft, Adobe, and Apple updates were probably bigger news for most users out there, and I'll cover this MySQL story tomorrow. However, if you are a MySQL administrator, you might want to look for it and uh, implement some of the workarounds today. Anyways, that's it for today's story. I'll see you tomorrow, and thank you for watching.